Welcome back guys, I'm Dan of the Dinosaur Drawer and today I'm going to be showing you all how to draw the pterodon from Jurassic World in flying motion of course. And yeah, today is day 15 of our dinosaur drawing marathon and here's our reference image. So yeah, get out your pencil, paper and eraser and we will get started with the outline. So it's going to have both its wings pointed upwards. So let's map out our drawings so we don't run out of space on our paper. So there's wing number one. Wing number two. Wing number two is going to look a little shorter because of the angle. Then the body is going to be right out here, so put an oval for that. Put the neck in. A little circle there for the main part of the head. It's going to have its long beak, which is going to be opened. It's going to have its flimsy little feet sticking out the back. And I think this is a rough, but okay outline. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to put in some of the arms there. But yeah, you really want you really want to have a lot of room for the wings. So I don't know if you want to turn your paper a different way or something. But yeah, you have to have a lot of room for your wings, or just make the drawing look a little smaller. Okay, I think we should start with this tip of the wing and our refining process. So I'm going to make this one long line. That looks pretty good. Let's continue at the top. So this whole section we're drawing right now is actually one finger, I think. At least it looks like it's definitely part of the part of the hand. So draw this carefully, make the line parallel until the very end. And then we'll take our eraser and erase this mess that I've created. So we'll connect these lines. So that looks pretty good, nice and clean. And now we can put in the hand. So it's got a hand that's very similar to dinosaur hands. It's definitely reptilian. So we're gonna put finger number one in, finger number two, and finger number three. So maybe this would be this would count as a fourth finger that long thing that stretches out there. Let's put in the claws. And yeah, just add some wrinkles or maybe some scales on these fingers. And they're looking pretty good. And now I'm just gonna raise some of these some of this mess here. So this arm is going to curve downward, and the elbow is going to be right about here. Then the upper arm is going to curve to where the shoulder is, which is right about here. So it's got a very weird looking arm. Very bat-like, I'd say. Yeah, you don't need to add too much to the arm. It's, I don't think it has any scales on it. Maybe. You can... Let me zoom up, actually, to see. So it does look like it have a, has a little bit of bumpiness on the shoulder here. But in the arm, I don't see much scales. So I'm just going to put shading in and wrinkles, and that'll be good enough. And then, yeah, for the wing, you should definitely add some color. So I'm going to do that by yeah, putting a lot of long strokes with my pencil. And I'm definitely going to cross hatch. And it's actually okay if you go out of the lines like I'm doing right now. Because you're just, I'll just clean it up with my eraser. If I was doing this with markers, then yeah, it would be a problem. <laughs> but yeah, as we're, since we're doing it with pencil, no problem at all. So that's pretty good. I mean, we're not going for complete accuracy here. So let's start wing number two. To tell, you, to tell you the truth, guys, I almost never draw flying reptiles, like almost ever. Probably should, because I'm not that good at drawing them. But yeah, this is good practice for me and you guys. Okay, so we're going to have this opposite arm. 
which again looks so weird the way it's curved. I'm going to put in those three fingers with the claws. Then that fourth finger. Like so. So the top wing will have a little bit less of shading. So we'll just shade the bottom portion there. Okay, so the wings are looking pretty good. Let's add a few more lines to the arm here. This marathon's actually been very hard for me, <laughs> doing a video every day. It's really challenging. I'd say it's actually almost more impressive to be the one watching the video for 26 days is a big commitment. <laughs> so right now I'm putting in the body. It's got kind of a roundish belly there. The neck is going to be kind of thick, not too long. And then it does have some feathers here, or not feathers, it looks more like fur almost on the belly, so we'll put those put that in. Like so. Now we're gonna actually I'll do the feet first so we can finish off with the head. It's gonna have very small legs that are quite slender. Almost all flying animals have very small legs. That's probably why ostriches can't fly, because <laughs> their legs are too heavy. It's got three toes on its feet. And it does have a tail, but it's quite short. It's not like that pterodactylus tail, which is like super long and has like a little dragon point at the end. So there we go, we got both legs put in. I'll add a little bit more shading to this one, like so. Let's put some more cross hatching there. Maybe a little bit more wrinkles. Okay, so let's put in the eye. It's going to have sort of like a mean look on it. I'm always sort of scared of pterodons. Like, if they were still alive today, that would not be nice. I mean, I'm not sure how aggressive they would be toward humans, but. I don't know. Yeah, it would not, not be nice to know that pterodons were just circling there in the sky. See, so yeah, the ones in Jurassic World especially have like very mean looking brow ridges above the eye. And the nostril is pretty close to where the eyes are. It's not too far out on the beak. So yeah, it's going to have a very long beak, like so. As far as having any teeth, I don't think it does. So this is probably more like a pelican that would like snatch its prey in its long beak and just swallow it. The Dimorphodon is the one that looks more like it's Got all those teeth meant to like, yeah, you know, actually bite the, actually maybe shoe the fish it caught. But pterodon, yeah, it looks more like it would like to swallow everything whole. So if you guys want to see more of me drawing flying reptiles, please comment below because I really think I should. And yeah, maybe drawing a Quetzalcoatlus or a Dimorphodon would be fun after this pterodon. 
this is just on my list of things to drop from the marathon, so that's why I'm drawing it right now. But yeah, I would lo love to do like a better tutorial on this. Maybe a more realistic one. But yeah, today I'm kind of short on time. So that's why I'm just putting a little drawing together for you guys. And I really hope you guys liked it. <laughs> so now, right now I'm just adding a little bit of shading inside the mouth. But yeah, this drawing is very minimalistic. It doesn't have that much detail in it. But yeah, it's a good sketch to add to your sketchbook. Definitely not worthy of framing, but yeah, still a nice drawing. So if you guys found this helpful, please leave this video a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, where hopefully we'll have a better tutorial. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.